Terry Bogard joins the fight in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, Luigi's Mansion 3 was a smashing success, and Death Stranding creator Hideo Kojima is cooking up a horror game in this week's episode of Frequency. Fatal Fury has invaded the world of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate with the latest fighter to arrive. Terry Bogard is live now for the Nintendo Switch game with powerful moves and tons of fandom backing power to make him an exciting addition to the ever-growing roster. Bogard isn't just there to look pretty either, he's bringing with him many of his signature moves that SNK fans will recognize immediately. From his powerful super special move found in his power geyser to the tried and true power dunk, Bogard is the latest formidable character to join the ranks with the best of the best. The latest fighter is available now with the update 6.0 for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate players worldwide. Luigi hasn't always had the spotlight, but the Luigi's Mansion franchise has held a special place in many of our hearts. When Luigi's Mansion 3 made its grand debut on Halloween last month, Nintendo Switch fans were overjoyed. So much so, in fact, that the latest game was a record-breaking hit for the company regarding their hybrid console. Nintendo revealed earlier this week that Luigi's Mansion 3 is officially their biggest launch of the year, even beating out The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening and Super Mario Maker 2. It even managed to double that of its predecessor, Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon on the 3DS. It's about time, Green Mario. Kidding. Got his time to shine and we can't wait to see what comes next for our beloved hero in green. Hideo Kojima has his hands full with the highly anticipated release of his new studio's breakout title, Death Stranding. But Kojima-san has always been an ambitious creator, so it should be of no surprise that he's already looking at what his next project is. In a recent interview during Rocket Beans Gaming, the Death Stranding creator mentioned that he would want to return to making horror games one day. He added that if he were to take this on as a new project, that he would want to challenge the horror genre entirely which is honestly the most Kojima thing he could have possibly said. While we hope for a possible reclamation of the PT Silent Hills game, we can dream. We can't wait to see what else he has in store for gamers once Death Stranding launches on PlayStation 4 on November 8th. For more gaming news and recaps, be sure to stay tuned right here on Frequency.